two of the leading telecoms industry standards groups have just been granted extensions to their work schedules. Etsy's NFE and MEC groups will now continue for at least a further two years. And in the case of the MEC ISG, it has even received a name change. Out goes mobile and in comes multi-access to better reflect the expanding scope of edge computing. I am happy to tell you that last week the Etsy Director General approved our request to extend the period of activity of MEC for another two years. We got feedback from the industry very early in the days of mobile edge computing is why you limit it to 3GP access technologies. So in order to show that we broaden the, the applicability of the technology, we actually decided to change the name of the technology and of the ISG to multi-access edge computing while keeping the abbreviation MEC that we believe that is already a very well established brand in the industry. The supporters of mobile edge computing are keen to emphasize that its benefits can be applied to today's networks as the relationship between telecoms and enterprise networks matures and becomes more sophisticated. Okay, mobile edge computing is uh, offers an IT service environment and cloud computing capabilities at a location which is considered the most lucrative point, the edge of the mobile network, and uh, characterized by proximity, by ultra low latency, by high bandwidth, this service environment offers also insight into real-time radio networking context information and all of this can be leveraged by applications to create value. Today there are problems on 3G and on 4G networks. Uh, the congestion is uh, significant in many parts of the world. There's uh, just an incredible growth of video traffic that's uh, affecting the ability of, uh, of the users to be able to stream uh, and uh, watch that content without interruption. So uh, there's definitely problems to solve today. With the uh, demo we're putting on with the Intel stand with our partners uh, ACS, that's all about MEC as being deployed now. So it's, um, it's a retail demonstration, so we have uh, media playing and local data breakout which allows you to uh, do IoT or uh, video watching, or more importantly, from the retail perspective, control and manage the uh, retail uh, display information directly from within the enterprise, and none of that traffic ever leaves the network uh, and goes back to the mobile core. It's all about trying to keep that uh, traffic inside the enterprise so that um, you've got the, the densification of spectrum uh, lots of small cells in building, but you're not stressing the network by having to um, take all that traffic back into the core or not. For the 2016 MEC Congress event in Munich, Etsy have brought together a number of proofs of concept to demonstrate how the technology can be applied in future scenarios. It's important for Etsy to uh, promote and to support the work of all our members. And the proof of concept that we have developed in the scope of uh, our industry specification group is really a great, great opportunity to demonstrate uh, the work that is done, the focusing on some of the use cases that are uh, developed within, uh, for example, an industry specification group like the mobile edge computing. What uh, the, this uh, uh, POX concept is doing is coming a little bit before the real interoperability testing. And it gives a lot of visibility to the work and it also allows people to receive comments on the POX so they can take that into account in the further development of the specification and so on in the ISDs. We support several applications today. One of them is traffic management. We also do throughput guidance to improve, uh, improve the quality of video. Uh, and communicate to the service provider what the best sustainable rate is in the, in the cell, all of which uh, improves the experience. Um, what we've done is we've taken those applications and we've implemented that in conjunction with Brocade and uh, being hosted on their uh, NFVI infrastructure. And so we're showing that here at the show. MEC is one of the key supporting technologies that is often mentioned in conjunction with 5G. Whatever form 5G eventually takes, and whatever name it eventually takes, MEC will be part of its overall architecture. One of the points of 5G is to start to uh, accommodate uh, more and more endpoints and also lower latency services. 
what we can do uh, with MEC is we're locating compute uh, capabilities closer to the edge and therefore we can respond more quickly to what's happening with the users and what's happening in the network. All the operators are really, really keen to try and access enterprise resources and, and the, the revenue that, that comes from that customer base. But that means you have to give them something that they want to pay for. And, I mean, in a healthcare scenario, if the cell outside my hospital that's serving all of the users in my hospital breaks for some reason, then who do I phone? No, there's no, no mechanism in a, in a tele, telco operator to allow a, an important user to phone and say, fix this, I've got a contract with you. You, you have a 20 euro a month or 50 euro a month contract, but you don't have rights to say, fix this cell quickly. But if I've got something that's deployed by a, an enterprise service provider and you know, a system integrator who knows about service level agreements, knows about fast turnaround, has stock of spares and all that sort of uh, uh, necessary infrastructure, then when something goes wrong, I have somebody who is there willing and able to fix that problem quickly. And again, it matters to an enterprise. Members of Etsy's MEC group will have plenty of work to do over the coming two years as multi-access edge computing tightens its focus and strengthens its links with the likes of the NFE and 5G groups. Other organizations also started working on MEC related aspects so, and this is absolutely natural and correct because for example to integrate MEC into 5G architecture it's just natural that 3GPP will do the work. So what we need to do is really to keep the, the ownership in Etsy MEC, but to strengthen the collaboration with this organization to ensure that they build on the work that we are doing rather than reinventing and to advise them, to provide them use cases, requirements and some architectural considerations. There's been a sort of little bit of tension within the, the mobile edge computing uh, world for a while um, as to whether you are just sat inside the S1 link, so between the eNodeB and the core, and you're not really part of the core network. You need to be part of the core network in order to actually make things work. There are some key uh, requirements that can't really be met unless you are an element of the core. So we want now to, to broaden in the applicability of the technology and take it beyond 3GP access technologies and support also, for example, operators manage wireless LAN, wireless wireline, etc. So this would be the first extension. We want to extend the virtualization facilities to render the environment and make it much more attractive to, as possible to, to third parties. And we want to study new use cases that may indicate and put uh, identify new areas that we need to work on. This is Guy Daniels for Telecom TV at the Met Congress event in Munich.